Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to introduce you to the basics of the new SkinGen plugin for Character Creator 3.3. There are a huge number of very important improvements that we've made in this version that allow for a much more powerful and detailed customization of your characters. On the screen right now we have the digital human sample character that uses a regular CC3 base. As you can see when we try to go over to the appearance editor, it will be disabled. The only way to activate that on this character is to convert it to a CC3 Plus base from the modify panel, which we'll look at a bit later. Currently, only clothing and accessories on CC3 characters can utilize the appearance editor. You can see in our embedded projects that we now have two skin gen projects for male and female, both of which utilize the new CC3 Plus base. Let's load in the embedded skin gen male character. You can see that once he's finished loading in, that the option to convert to CC3 Plus base is no longer in the Attributes tab, since that's the character we're currently using. There are three main sections for skin gen in the appearance editor, for skin, makeup, and outfits. These allow for much more customization than previous versions, down to very fine detail. You can see from this webpage that there are now an astonishing number of texture creation and customization options you can take advantage of with different packs from the content store. The skin system in SkinGen mimics that of real human skin structure, with different layers all on top of each other, starting with your base skin, and then adding on various effects like blemishes, body hair, discoloration, textures, and more. There are nine different categories for skin content. These are overall, full skin, skin base, normal effect, skin detail, blemish, acquired, body hair, and more. You can see the full hierarchy here on the website. In the overall folder, you'll find combined skin and makeup templates that can be used to quickly replace a character's entire skin texture. You'll find previous CC3 templates repacked for CC3 Plus characters here, as well as others. Here's also where you'll find a whole bunch of templates from the Realistic Human Skin Pack. The Realistic Human Skin Pack has an enormous selection of skin customization options, including skin bases, skin effects, hair and scalp, and nails. This pack contains templates for the small details that are essential for enhancing the realistic details of your character's skin. There are six different types of skin layer effects you can apply to your characters. The normal effects are for detailing things like muscles, wrinkles, and popping blood vessels. After that, skin details look at basic things like coloration and roughness. There's also a blemish layer where you can roughen up your character's appearance a little to make it more realistic. After that, there are a number of options for acquired, which means effects that are added onto your skin, such as tattoos, scars, water, dirt, and scales. Finally, there's body hair and nails, both of which have a number of very important effects that enhance the realism of their respective areas on the skin. Besides the overall templates, you'll find the full skin templates, which can quickly replace all the skin effects in skin mode. Here's where you can add stuff like wrinkles and freckles. You'll find some default templates here, as well as the realistic human skin packs if you decide to get them. Next there is the skin base category, which you can use to replace the skin base but keep the skin effects in order to change to a different type of skin. So for example, you can change the color of your old lady from white to black here without needing to worry about changing the wrinkles effect. There are a number of different templates here with the realistic human skin as well. Next are the normal effects, which, like I mentioned, are used to add things like wrinkles, muscle detail, and popping blood vessels. You can also customize pore appearance here, among many other things. There are also some realistic human templates contained here as well. Going down the line after normal effects is the skin detail category. Content in this folder allows you to add skin textures on different specific body parts. You can also add diffuse details on the skin. Then we have blemishes, which as you can imagine, are templates containing layers which add things like pimples and freckles, and yes, even sunburn. The next category is called acquired, which basically represents anything external that is added to your character's face, such as dirt, tattoos, scars, moisture, or scales. Next is body hair, which is fairly self-explanatory. It includes all areas of the body, including the head, so you can customize beards, add tons of chest hair, or even complement the hair on your character's head. Finally, we come to the nail folder, which contains, you guessed it, all the templates that you can apply to your nails to make them look cracked, broken, or absolutely fabulous. Let's move on now to the makeup content. There are also a bunch of layers available for applying makeup to your character as well. As you can see, each section of makeup contains its own collection of layers, so you can really transform your character's face from drab to fab. There are seven content categories for skin makeup that we'll go through. Here you can see the first layer, full makeup, 
has tons of easy to apply templates for a variety of looks. This allows you to completely replace the full makeup effect on your character's face, and this is also where you'll find some makeup and SFX skin pack content. On the website, you can see some examples of these templates available as part of the Realistic Human Bundle. Our makeup system is based off the way you would apply makeup in the real world. As you can see as we scroll down the page, there are seven unique areas of the face that you can apply makeup to in order to achieve different looks. The Makeup and SFX Skin Pack provides a huge selection of these templates so that you can transform your character into everything from a model to a jungle warrior. Aside from the full makeup category, you also have the subcategories that you can customize. These include the foundation category, which provides foundation, contours, highlights, and blush. Next, there is the eye makeup category, which is where you'll find your eyeliner, eyeshadow, eyelashes, and eyebrow content. There are a ton of options to explore here, as the eyes are the window to the soul. Lip makeup is important as well, as it can enhance different looks via the different styles and shape templates that you can use for your character's lip style. Eyebrows are a very underrated part of the makeup regimen that do a lot to add to the masculine or feminine appearance of your character's face. So naturally, there are a variety of them for both men and women. The miscellaneous category is anything else that was missed from the previous categories. Things such as warrior paint, clay face masks, various markings, and other special effects you can apply to your character's face. Let's take a quick look at entering into skin mode and applying some of these templates now. Once we activate the appearance editor on your character, we can take a look at all the layers that are already applied. You can see that each layer has its own unique properties and parameters that you can combine to create a comprehensive and detailed custom look for your character's skin, from acne on the face to muscle definition on the body. You're also able to switch materials from the head to the body as well, which will save all the layers from the previous material. Let's switch to the head and take a look at the hemoglobin layer, which is used to generally control the flush of your character's face. If we increase the expression slider here, you can see that our character will actually start to blush a little. Just like in Photoshop, you can toggle the visibility of each layer as well. If we open the Part 2 section, we can also adjust the intensity of the blush on the nose area in particular, as you can see in the map here. Many layer tools contain the ability to separate areas of effect, which allows for further customization options. If we want to add a touch of facial hair to our character, all we need to do is simply head over to the body hair category and apply one of the templates there. In this case, we'll replace the current beard template to reveal a thick and healthy looking bit of stubble on our character's face. Let's take a quick look at applying makeup templates now. You can see the character on the screen has some basic makeup layers here already, so let's check them out. Here you can see me adjusting the lip roughness of that layer, and you can also go down and tweak the color of the various color parameters as well. Blur and Expansion will essentially focus on expanding the edges of the lips, and blending them into the surrounding skin. Let's go try to apply a totally separate eye makeup template now from the Makeup SFX pack. I'll choose this K-style one, and you'll see the total eye makeup, including all aspects like eyelashes, eyeshadow, and eyebrows, changes. You can then go into custom areas like the eyeshadow and manually adjust the color values like hue and brightness to tweak it to the color that you want. You can also apply full makeup content as well to replace all aspects of the makeup on your character's face at once. Here I'm going to select this vintage party look and you'll see everything gets replaced. There are a lot of really cool options that come with the Makeup SFX pack if you want to get a little more creative as well. In the full makeup section, you're also able to apply cool face paint templates as well, like this Tribal Warrior template here. It contains a number of different layers that you can show or hide, not to mention you can also determine the effective area of the layer using the range map. From there, you can adjust various other parameters like brightness and hue, as well as blur it more into the base skin texture. Keep in mind that you'll need the premium version of SkinGen in order to launch and customize your various texture maps. The Makeup Pack essentially allows for unlimited options when it comes to customizing your character's appearance. Anywhere from certified creepy to stunningly sexy, depending on the needs of your project. There are 21 different tools you can apply to your character's face, each with their own unique effect on the appearance of your character. 
For DAS users, the UB transfer tools are incredibly important in that they allow you to directly transfer things like tattoos and other skins effects from your DAS characters to your new CC3 Plus characters with a couple of simple clicks. There's no longer any need to spend hours transferring manually to a new UV map. Let's take a quick look at how we can add a custom pattern to our character's face. I'm going to launch this Paint 1 Makeup layer to Photoshop by right-clicking on the Texture map and selecting Launch Texture. What I'm doing now is repositioning that map on top of the UV map for my character's head, so I have a point of reference on where the paint stripes are going to be placed on my character's face. Then I'm just going to paint a big fat white stripe right down the forehead in white, and then delete my UV reference layer and save it. What will happen next is that my head material and character creator will automatically update with that new paint. I can go ahead and change the color here, but keep in mind that everything on that layer will update simultaneously. I can even make it rougher and more faded, or slicker in appearance, by adjusting the relevant parameters. Once I've done my adjustments, I can then export my character and send him into battle in iClone. SkinGen Premium is a quintessential plugin to get a hold of if you're looking to get the most powerful tools for customizing your character's skin appearance. It comes with a set of 21 dynamic skin tools, as well as the ability to import custom texture maps and automatically convert UV maps from your original DAS characters. Additionally, the premium version comes with all the additional add-on packs that you see here. Ultimate Morphs contains even more detailed character morphs that help to shape the foundation of your character's body. With 259 essential updates to CC3 character body morphs, a huge selection of detailed morphs, and non-unique character shapes. With Realistic Human Skin, you'll get the most comprehensive library of skin customization tools that Reillusion has released to date, with literally hundreds of options for everything from skin bases right down to the details of the fingernails, as well as hair for both body and face. The final thing that the 4-in-1 bonus pack comes with is 12 completely unique and meticulously constructed CC3 Plus avatars that provide an amazing starting point for any type of character, young and old, that you can transform and mold into one of your own creations. All of this content contains high-resolution skin gen texturing with unique eyes, teeth, and expression settings. Even better, they work flawlessly with Headshot for Character Creator, which means that you can really transform yourself or anyone you really want into whatever you can imagine. Your creativity is the only limit. That's it for this brief intro to the tools and content available for the Skin Gen Premium plugin. I hope you enjoy using this fantastic tool and find it useful for your production pipeline. Make sure you keep updated on new developments on our forums at forum.reillusion.com and make sure to check out our other SkinGen tutorials on our YouTube channel and training page.